A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Then Peter came to Jesus and said to him, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, Not seven times, but I tell you, seventy-seven times. For this reason the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began the reckoning, one who owed him ten thousand talents was brought to him. And as he could not pay, his lord ordered him to be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions, and payment to be made. So the slave fell on his knees before him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the lord of the slave released him and forgave him his debt. But that same slave, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow slaves, who owed him a hundred denarii, and seized him by the throat. And he said, Pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. But he refused. Then he went and threw him into prison until he would pay the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their lord all that had taken place. Then his lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked slave! I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave as I had mercy on you? And in anger, his Lord handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his entire debt. So my heavenly father will also do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. I find this one of the most sobering accounts, uh, stories that Jesus tells, most sobering of Jesus' teachings. This very vivid image of what will happen to us if we receive God's forgiveness and then turn around and have a hardness of heart towards others who have offended against us, often for the very same thing. And so... There's so much to unpack in this this story, in this parable. There's so much that's been written. I know I've probably spoken to you before in this very format that one of the things, one of the most common things people come to my office to speak with me about is this issue of forgiveness. I'm having a hard time forgiving. I don't know if I should forgive. I want to forgive, but I don't know how. And if you're a person who's struggling with that, I invite you to reach out to me through the St. James website, and I'll be happy to share with you deeper resources. But in the context of this smaller meditation, I simply want to say, this is not something that Jesus, it's not a one-off. It's not like the fish story earlier this week, where we marvel at what a strange story. We hear this theme over and over again from Jesus. In fact, when Jesus taught us how to pray, He said to pray for the kingdom, and that's what this is a parable of, the kingdom. Pray for the kingdom that it will be here on earth as it is in heaven. And pray, forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sinned against us. This is a central teaching of Jesus, and we cannot ignore it. So if you find yourself struggling with forgiveness, struggling with wanting to forgive even, struggling with, is it right to forgive a person who doesn't seem at all penitent toward me? Then these are questions that you share in common with many Christians, uh, present company included. And I want to say to you, short of going into an in-depth study about it, simply to hold on to this about forgiveness and some of the distinctions. I heard this from a Jewish rabbi, and it just really stuck with me. There's different kinds of forgiveness, different aspects. Forgiveness is what we offer to others when we say, I forgive you for what you've done to me. We can't forgive what someone's done to somebody else. We can forgive what someone's done to me. Um, I can offer forgiveness. A person can offer penitence. A person can say, I am sorry. I am sorry for what I've done period, um, and I feel badly and I want to make it up to you and make amends. 
You can have forgiveness, you can have atonement or repentance or asking for forgiveness. When those two things come together, we have reconciliation. And sometimes we're ready to forgive and the other person's not ready to repent or, or ask for forgiveness or apologize. Sometimes we can apologize and a person isn't ready to forgive us. And the third thing that this rabbi's teaching um, taught me was to think about atonement as a, a relationship between ourselves and God. And this is particularly helpful in those places where we want to ask for forgiveness, but the person is not able to forgive either because they're not ready to forgive or they are no longer amongst the living. Um, we can ask whatever the other person on the other end of that relationship is doing, we can always ask God for forgiveness for something we've done for which we feel um, we must repent and ask forgiveness. So atonement, reconciliation, confession, repentance, and forgiveness, those are all different things. And I think sometimes when we say, well, I can't forgive someone because, you know, they haven't apologized and justice hasn't been done and all these things, that's true for the full reconciliation to be there. All those elements must be at play, but we can in fact forgive somebody who has wronged us, um, who we're not ready to be back in active relationship with, who we can't trust, um, who doesn't feel safe, but we can still forgive them. We can still forgive them. So don't let the partiality of it keep you from listening to Jesus' words in this parable. We must forgive as we have been forgiven. God has forgiven us all sorts of things in our impartial and imperfect repentances. And so we can do the same for others. Don't let this be an impediment to your relationship with God. So. I hope that if you struggle with this in any way, know you struggle along with so many, myself included, know that there are resources and support for you if you wish to reach out for them. And in the meantime, may God be with you in your own discernment, in your own uh, patterns and journey of forgiveness. And may God bless you and may God keep you this day and always. Amen. <laughs>